I'm Jo Wiley on Sky Arts. Today, we're bringing you an important report from Sky Skills Studios. Let's go straight to Studio One. Good evening, I'm Chelsea Aguidi. And I'm Robert Baller. And welcome to Sky Arts News. In breaking news, a cat has attacked a beef eater at Buckland Palace. He's been rushed to hospital with severe injuries, but now he's in stable condition. I guess you could say it was a catastrophe. Good one. In other news, there's been a decline in the quality of the English language based upon the widespread of text speak. Records show that there's been an increase in the spread of text speak in exam papers and job applications. Experts say we should be concerned, but does this really mean standards are falling? Does correct grammar and spelling really matter? Well, some countries don't think so. Since 2006, exam boards in New Zealand have allowed pupils to use text speak in their exams. Compared to 2012, 12 to 15 year olds are sending more text messages in a typical week, 255 versus 193. While smartphone users are now sending an estimated 184 instant messages in a typical week. In today's programme, Royston and Triggs are in Greater London on location. Maxon and Sonnet are in Halston. Justice is talking to two experts, both for and against text speak. We will catch up to that later. Thank you, Robert and Chelsea. I am Trix and I would like to introduce my co colleague here. Thank you, Trix. I'm Royston. We are currently here in Newman Catholic College in Great London. Today we will be discussing the impact of uh, text speech has on education. Yeah. yeah, so according to the national statistics, approximately 9 out of 10 young people in the UK have a mobile phone. In recent survey, 80% of parents felt like they use text speak formed the language barrier between them and their children. Yeah. I personally think it wouldn't cause a personal barrier because my, myself being having parents and I'm 26 right now so yeah. I don't have personal barrier, I communicate them, I use the phone to communicate them. So it's like a really big thing and I don't have to mail them so phone helps me a lot. Not only I have my younger old son who constantly, constantly is on phone and I try to take him off. It's kind of becoming an issue, but I don't know what to, what, what are your opinions on it? I think I want them to learn in the right way of speaking in English. And um, yeah, I don't want them to learn like the abbreviations. The international school experiment, more than a thousand students for 10 countries around the world, including Britain, were asked to go without any media for 24 hours. More than a half of the students who participated in this international experiment failed to last the full 24 hours. Over to Maxin, currently live in Houston. Thanks, Anna. Uh, hi, I'm Max Nagia from Sky News, and today we have Mr. Dan. Hi, Mr. Dan. Hello, Max. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So nowadays, students are arguing about text speaking in school. How do you feel about it? Students are arguing, yes, I know students are arguing. I've seen lots of students are arguing about this. Some of the students come to me as well and saying, oh, sir, what's this? Uh, can we use this? And what does the student come to me and say, yo, one one, sir? And I was like, what, what are you doing? This is not a street. This is a school. Uh, sir, nowadays people use slang in texting. It's an uh, easier and an advanced way to text. It saves up time. It's a new way of communication. How do you feel about it? I know it's a new way of con communication, but still, we, they do exams, and exams they have Shakespeare's and they have poetries and stuff, so they need to get on with that. They, they can't use slang. If they use, uh, like, if they use two, and they then say, like, in the exam, if they use two, it, it's cancelled. They can't pass. It's failed. Uh, so basically, so you are saying it's a bad way. Uh, what are your opinions? Like, should they be allowed in a certain way, or should they, should they be banned permanently? I think uh, on a certain way, I would say that they should be allowed outside if they want to, because they they're free to do it. They are students. They they can't. You can't be stopping them. Like you can't do this. You can't do this. They 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 are going to do it, and it's good for them to do it. They they might learn in the future that 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 was not that was not a good thing to do it. But in school, I said no. School, no way. It should be banned. Okay. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Dunn. And now I'm going to pass on to Robert. Thank you very much, guys.
Thank you to Max. Good evening, Walker from Sky News reporting live from Facebook headquarters. My name is Justice Osse and I'm here with Hannah Foss and Adam Merza regarding the question, is TechSpeak the new English? In a recent study of TechSpeak, people use more than 10 different ways to text laughter, showing how it is affecting the English language. Now we are going to our expert opinion on the matter. Can you inform our viewers what TechSpeak is? Well, TechSpeak is an adapted way of communicating to make texting easier and quicker. Is text speaking encouraging poor spelling and grammar? I personally don't think so. I think it's increasing the availability of our language to foreign people. So if they want to learn our language, but in a simpler way, they can just abbreviate our words and it makes it simpler for them to say them. And you never know, maybe in the dictionary one day, they might all be put in there and it would just be easier for our new generation to learn exactly what our language is about. Is text speaking ruining the English language? Well, yes, I think it is because, for example, if you're applying for a job and you write an application, you may just write you instead of Y-O-U, which is the actual English language. And I also think that it influences, um, it influences bad grammar and spelling mistakes. Thank you, Anna and Hannah, for taking time out of your schedule. To thank you for watching and thank you to the Sky Skills studio team.